I started this soap without you guys. Well, you know, that's what happens when you forget to turn the camera on. We're making Smoking in the Boys Room. Um, it's inspired by that Motley Crue song. Um, I have already obviously mixed everything and I put my color in there. Um, this is done in the camo style. So we have white, caramel, we have crimson, brown, and black. So yeah, I don't know what happened. I thought I turned the camera on, but I did not. So this is going to be a really short video. Um, ordinarily, you know, I mix my colors in oil beforehand, but because I need it to be thick for the camo style, um, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to put my fragrance in. The fragrance is called Cognac and Cubans. And when I first bought it years ago, I was just like super curious about what it smelled like. And now this is one of our best selling fragrances, you guys. One of our best selling soaps. It's amazing, this fragrance is. So I'm going to get these mixed up and we'll come right back. I have everything stirred in and it's still liquidy. So we're going to have to wait for it to set up. It needs to be uh, pretty thick. Uh, I might have to stick on that black again. That's, that black is really, really runny. Let's see. Because there's not as much black as there is the other colors. And I would like for them to set up pretty much at the same time and just, you know, because then I can pour it the same time. <laughs> or not pour it, but plop it the same time. So, yeah. Let me get uh, my washcloth and get this soap off of here. Yep, lots of soaps to make today. And I'm going to frost all my bath on. So, you'll see that video uh, pretty soon, too. So, yay. All right. Yeah, it's going to be a while. Oh, that's starting to thicken up now. Okay. All right. So, I will uh, let this set up and we'll come back. I'll see you in a few. Okay. I angled you guys way down. Hopefully, um, it's a better view for you. Let me put some gloves on. Um, believe it or not, my black and white are not as set up as the rest of them and I have been waiting for an hour for this so um, this is a fragrance that's fantastic to work for if you're looking for a great smelling you know easy to work with men's fragrance so what I'm going to do is I'm going to start with my white I have spoons in each of these I take a spoonful and I just sort of put it here and there See, it's not like completely <laughs> and I, I try not to go in any particular like order this is the brown and I will bang it down you know frequently like after I go through all the colors the first time I'll bang it down here's our crimson my head might be in your way because I gotta look Oh, I want to put some over on this side. Um, this design originally um, had just the four colors, the black, the caramel butterscotch, the brown, and the white. But the last time I made it, I added the uh, crimson to it, and I loved it that way. So now that's what it is see how liquidy that was and we got to do the gold or the caramel and then I'll bang it I want to just a little bit over here oops I meant to put that right there <laughs> this is a fun technique because you know you get to when you when we cut the bars you're gonna see if you haven't done the technique before, how cool it is. Okay, so we're going to start again with the white. And I, I try to put them in different places than I did the first time. Not always possible, but I do try. <coughs> okay, the brown. Okay. 
what did we go with next? The gold, right? Or I mean the black, right? Well, I mean it's all going in there, so you guys can see okay, right? I think so. I know I'm, I'm supposed to get a, uh, it's June, I said I was going to get one in May, I just haven't had a chance to. And even if I got an overhead camera uh, thing, I'm not sure my husband would have time to install it right now. So, we're just sort of doing our thing. And if this angle works better for these kinds of, like, you know, like if I were to, I could have, if I would have thought about it, I could have done that when I made pour some sugar on me. Oh, see, I'm getting it all over my, the side of my mold. Okay. Let me get this off the side of my mold. Because it's not going to matter where that color is. Or I'm banging it again. Oh, let me get my washcloth so I'm not banging it into soap. Oop. Okay, white again. And brown. Do, do, do. See how set up my brown is compared to like what I'm about to do with the black? The black just sort of like falls off the spoon. But after an hour, you know, you're like, I'm done. I'm done. I'm done. I'm done. That's just usually how it is for me. The next soap we make is going to be really quick, which you'll see two weeks from now, I guess. Because I think I already said in the beginning of this that um, I'm going to frost the uh, bath bombs. That, or the bath bomb combos I made. Um, just show you just one of them. And but I have three to do. So, oh, stuck the handle of that in my white. All right, here's our caramel. It's kind of funny, I already washed my spatulas. Um, but I'm going to have to scrape these out. <laughs> so, <laughs> was that it? Is that less color? Yes, it is. Let me bang it again. The other thing that's different about this soap is um, we used to do it in the white molds that I have that I think are like three and a quarter inches wide. But um, we have decided, Amanda, Lauren, and I, that all of our men's soaps are now going to be the two and a quarter by two and a quarter. We just think it'll, you know, that way we can streamline all the men's soaps. When I make Purple Rain, Purple Rain was usually done with that, with the white mold, but it's not going to be done with that this time. Which I'm not sure when you're going to be able to see purple rain, but you will see it. <laughs> Which is also a remake for me. I think I'm going to put some right here in the corner. There you go. Oh, well, we're getting to the point where I might have to use my spatulas. Okay, and our gold. My husband woke up this morning, and because this is Sunday morning, um, it's raining, like it was thunderstorm, so we couldn't go to our show today. Let me bang this. And he said to me, you're working already? <laughs> yes. <laughs> I can't be at the show working. I'm going to work at home. That's just, you know, how it goes. So, yeah, I'm disappointed. I love going to shows and talking to my customers and everything. But 
when I go when it rains, even with the great tent we have, it's still, you know, if water's going to get in there, um, I lose labels because I don't have, like, waterproof labels. I know you can get them. I just don't have any. So... I think that's one I'm gonna be one of the next big purchases is us for us to get a laser printer with waterproof labels. It'll make our lives easier. Oh, we're running out of crimson, y'all. I at least want to have a little bit for the top. So let me put this over here. Carol's running out too. And the uh, brown. Put it in the corner. Okay, one more bang. Okay. Yeah, I think I'm going to need my moss rapers or my spatulas. Let me get as much soap off of these spoons as I can. I might have to edit this part out I don't know we'll see it's not gonna take me long I just need to get the soap out of there or off of there I should say Wee. Ugh. I just <laughs> made a huge mess on my counter <laughs> oh if you're not messy you're not soaping right guys okay so let's start with our white. I'm I made so much soap today that I'm out of spatula, so I have to use the little ones. Okay. Get this big blob of white right there. Okay, white is done. Let's get brown. Brown here and brown there. I have this song in my head right now. But just one particular part. Oh, gotta love it. Okay, the black. Let me move this over. The black. See, I knew I shouldn't have made so much black. Actually, it looks gray, doesn't it? I don't know. It's all right. Whatever. Get all this black off of here. Or at least most of the black off of here. Okay, crimson. I love this crimson color. This crimson color is fantastic. I'm going to put a little bit right over there. Hopefully I can scrape out enough. These little spatulas are very, very flimsy. I don't use them very often. I use them like mostly with little cups. Get this scraped out. And then we'll bang it one more time. And decorate the top. There we go. Okay, let me bang it. Uh, actually, let me wipe my counter off first, and then I will bang it. Okay, here we go. I just banged that so hard, you guys, that <laughs> I knocked some colors off. The little stack that they're on. I know you've seen them before with when I cut bars. Yeah, I knocked a few off into my dirty dishes, or my clean dishes, I'm sorry. Not dirty dishes. <coughs> Yeah. Okay, so I'm gonna take. No, I wanna. I want another uh, 
stainless steel chopstick. Do an infinity swirl on this one too. Always have. To do it nice and slow so I can get all of that in there. There we go. I'm going to bang it one more time and spray it with alcohol. Okay, there we go, guys. So, in 18 to 24 hours, we will. Can you see that? There we go. In 18 to 24 hours, uh, we'll cut it. So, I'll see you then. Bye bye. All right, you guys, we're going to cut smoking in the boys' room. You know, <clears throat> I know I've heard the original song. I don't know who it's by for the life of me. So if you know who did the original version of Smoking in the Boys Room, um, let me know. I got some serious soda ash on this, but I want you to look at this. Let me move my cutter. Look how cool that looks. I love it. And on the sides, I absolutely love a camo pour. Well, I guess it's not really a pour, is it? It's sort of like a plop. I do this with one of my women's soaps too. Um, is it Pink Houses or is it Uptown Girl? Well, anyway, one of those I do a camo pour with that and it looks extremely awesome. So these like pinks, grays, greens, that kind of thing. It's really kind of cool. No, it's not Pink Houses. It must be Uptown Girl. Okay. There we go, first piece. Yeah, that is significantly easier to go through than <laughs> my upstairs recipe. Okay. Yeah, because I've been, you know, I have, tonight I'm cutting six, no, I'm sorry, five soaps and I'm molding some cupcakes. So, <clears throat> it's kind of funny. I keep trying to figure, you know, think of different things to talk to you guys about while I'm cutting soap. <laughs> But it's on the same night, so it's kind of hard not to repeat myself, you know, because I'm excited about some things and whatnot. So if I do repeat myself the next couple of videos during the cutting, you can just, you know, forgive me and stuff. <laughs> Although, like I said, I got serious, serious soda ash on this. But, my Bissell to the rescue! I really do love that thing. Oh, for 42 bucks, free delivery from Amazon? Come on now. You can't go wrong. Plus it'll clean your house. Yes, gotta love it. Oh, now my kitchen smell. I, it's kind of funny though, smoking in the boys room, along with, uh, I don't know which one of these is gonna come out first, this one or animal, but Either way, them the two together have been sitting on the same tray because I made them on the same night. And the two of them together smell amazing. So I'm actually considering about putting them together, like, you know, trying to figure out a good balance between the two and making a custom blend. But if I do that, then I got to figure out what I would call it because, you know, Songs are by two different bands, and I don't know what I would call it. It's kind of it. I have to uh, ask my daughter and Amanda what they think about the idea, and have them smell both of them together. It's just amazing the two of them together. Because this one is, you know, the cognac and Cubans, and the animal is called animalistic instinct, which I. I'm, you know, I, I think it's dupe of something. I don't know. You know, like right off the top of my head. I don't know if it is or not, but it's it's a very, and I don't know if it's familiar because I make it all the time, or if it's familiar because, you know, I'm a perfume and cologne collector. So, I don't know. Oop, I moved you guys again. Okay. This should, we should have one more bar after this. So we've got two, four, six, eight, yep, nine. This is my daughter's favorite men's scent. I don't know if I said that in my 
uh, when I was making the soap. This is her absolute favorite scent. Oh, thank God the air conditioner went off. Now you guys can probably hear me. So now I don't have to talk so loud. <laughs> but uh, yeah, and she named it rather than my son, which is kind of funny. So, uh, okay, so yeah, that's it. And hopefully uh, I won't have air conditioning running with the last two soaps I have to cut. So I'll see you guys next week. Bye-bye.